you are somebody who has had a, a lengthy career in the Sudanese army. You were the inspector general. And now you find yourselves at the head of a, a, of a coup. Why? What, what drove you to be part of this? أنا ليست على رأس انقلاب وإنما القوات المسلحة قررت أن تنحاز للمواطنين وأظن هذه رغبة المواطنين. And when the when the public wants you to go, will you go? فورا. What about the protesters themselves? Will you allow them to continue to occupy the space that they're occupying in front of the military headquarters? نعم نحن ننتظر أن تأتي مبادرة الانفضاض منهم فقط لن نفرض عليهم أي Let's talk a little bit about your relationship with the United States. A U.S. delegation just came to see you and to speak with you. What is your biggest priority when it comes to your relationship with the United States? نحن التزمنا للولايات المتحدة الأمريكية بأن نعمل بأعجل ما يمكن لنقل السلطة إلى الشعب. التزمنا أن تعاوننا يستمر في كل القضايا. We know that a process has begun to prosecute uh, former President Omar al-Bashir for financial malpractice. But of course, there are, there are bigger allegations and bigger concerns. For example, the crimes that were committed in Darfur, the deaths of the protesters. What are you going to do to make sure that he faces justice for that? In Sudan, we have a strong government, a and a do you expect that he will be facing charges of crimes against humanity for what happened in Darfur here in Sudan? What would be your message to the world? What would you ask the world to do for Sudan? مع المواطنين وتعمل لأجل المواطنين وتريد أن تنقل السلطة